Hello, hello. Welcome to Scratchy Sunday. In today's episode, we are going to make a simple game with Scratch Junior. In this game, we have our main character tag, the octopus-like thing UFO. When our apple, peach, or mushroom hits it, it will turn, and the game will be over. It is simple as that. Let's see. Before we start, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Now, let's find Tag, our main character, the purple octopus-like thing. Yeah, here it is. Let's get Tag disappeared. All right. Now Tag is in the center of the stage. Let's drag it down. And we will need some button, actually two, to help tag to move to left and move to right. If you have no idea how to use the paint editor or how to create a character, you can watch my other videos. We have already talked about how to create custom character and custom backgrounds. Okay, our two buttons are in place. One on the left side and the other one on the right side. These two buttons will control in which direction tag moves and how big a step it takes. All right, let's create a script for the left arrow button. Let's select it. And we need a script to be triggered by a tab event. So we choose start on tab and then we will send out an orange message. Then we attach the end block. Now the left button is done. Let's move on to the right arrow button. Let's select it. And we drag out our triggering block. However, at this time, we will need a red message. Sending a red message. Then, as always, we will need an end block. Okay, both buttons are done. Let's choose a background. I would like to have a monotone background. Hmm, to make my character more stand out. Let's choose this one. Nice. Okay, let's focus on tag for a moment. It is the one who received the message, the orange one and the red one. What should it do? It should move. Let me change the number to 3 in this motion block. And as always, we will need an end block. We have just handled the case when tag received an orange message. How about a red one? Our instruction to tag is very similar, just in an opposite direction. This time, it should move to right. And don't forget to save your project and give it a name, of course. I will just name it Moving. <laughs> okay, as I always say, we should test, test, and test our scripts. At this moment, we click on the green flag. It will not do anything because tag will only move when we tap on the two buttons. I forget to change the number to 3 when tag moves to the right. So now tag moves to the right in little step and moves to the left in larger step. See? You may want to adjust it in your project. Anyway, let's move on. Now we should make some objects falling from the sky. There are many objects to choose from, but I, uh, I do not want to crap. I just want a good old-fashioned apple. Let me see apple. My apple. Scroll down. Now, we have our apple, the peach, and the mushroom. Select it and click on the tick. Now, the apple is at the center of the stage and we drag it to the right position. Okay, 
we continue to add some more about the peach. It always takes me some time to find the right character. Okay, here we are. And the last but not least, our mushroom. Here we go. Yes, our mushroom. Okay, we have the three falling objects. Because we want our apple to start falling when we hit the green flag, we would need the green flag triggering block. Then, a motion block. It's nothing special. What is special is this repeat forever, not ending and block. You see, the apple goes on and on. Or should we say it keeps falling? Enough of apple falling. Now we can copy our script into the other two, the peach and the mushroom. Let's drag the script. Here we go. Click and drag and put into the peach. Drag into the mushroom character. Now we can check and see the same script is added. Let's make it full screen and it's time to check. Alright. All of them are falling in the same speed and tap is able to move left and right. All right. Everything is fine, but it is a bit dull. Let's change the speed. I want the peach to fall a little bit faster. Let's change it to two and the other two are still one. Let's check if the peach is falling faster than the others. Yes, it is. Okay, that's nice. Now, let's consider how tag should react to a hit by the falling objects. There are many ways to do it. To make tag react to any contact with another object. In this video, I would like to demonstrate sending message in different colors. So here we go. We make use of the green message, receiving the green message. Then, text should lie down and faint. So we choose the rotate motion block and we make the number to 3. Alright, normally, when the character done its thing, we will add in the end block. But, in this particular case, we would like tag to send out another message. Since we have already used the orange, the red and the green one, now we should use another color. And tag will be the one who send it, not receiving it. Okay, now we should send out a blue message. So when tag receives the green message, it does something and send out another blue message. It is a little bit complicated. On the other hand, we should focus on the one who sent out the green message. Why and when the apple will send out a green message? When it bump, make contact with something. So we use the start on bump triggering block. Okay. With the end block in place, we should test it. Let's have the full screen mode. And we click on the green flag. Now we get some reaction from tag. We see it does rotate. But for some reason, it rotates when it is even not hit by the apple. Let's fix this. My guess is the size of the characters are too big. I will make them all smaller. Now let's see how we can make all the characters become smaller when we hit on the green flag. We should use this purple block. And then as usual, the end block. Okay, full screen, test it. Let's see. Alright, it becomes smaller. It still rotates. Hmm. I will make tag even smaller than this. And I will also change the size of the falling objects. 
Let me change it to 4. Test it. Okay, green flag. Now it is even smaller. For the apple, I will need to make it smaller too. When we hit on the green flag, it should become smaller. Yes. Let me attach the purple block to the peach and the mushroom too. Okay, another one. Okay. It's another testing time. Wait, we wait. Alright! It does not rotate when it hit by the pitch. Let's see what will happen. Alright, it rotates when it is hit by the apple. Nothing. That's good. Let's see how it will react to another hit by the apple. It rotates again. Right. Now we copy the same script to the peach and the mushroom. So all three of them will send out the green message when it is bumped. Or should we say they hit tag. Now we should consider what these should do when it receives the blue message. They should be disappeared. So we use another purple block. Another another testing time. We will see it hit by the pitch. And the apple goes away. Why? Because when the peach hit tag, it sends out the green message. And when tag receives the green message, it sends out the blue message. For now, just apple will react to the blue message. That means just the apple will be disappeared. Let's see the script on tag again. When it receives the green message, it rotates and then send out the blue message. So, our script is working. Let's copy it to the peach and also don't forget the mushroom. Yes. With this final touch, let's test again. All the falling objects are disappeared. Good. Let's test again and see how it will react when it is not bombed by the objects. Nothing happened. And when it hit by the mushroom, it rotates and everything goes away. Nice! It is exactly what we want for our little game. It is nice to have you with me this Sunday. I hope you enjoyed this little game. Don't forget to give me this video a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. See you soon.